National Five Biologists. Let's do this past paper question together. So 7a says two stages of mitosis are shown in the diagrams. We get B and C there. Name the structures that pull the pairs of chromatids apart. So this is a straightforward knowledge one. You should just know this one. It is the spindle fibres. Okay, the spindle fibres. Describe what happens. And by the way, these are the spindle fibres here, these little dashed lines that we can see. Okay. Describe what happens immediately after stage C. So in stage C, well, let's describe what's happening. In stage C, we can see that the chromatids are being pulled apart to opposite poles of the cell there. Okay, those chromatids have been pulled apart by the spindle fibres to opposite poles of the cell. Now, the next stage that happens immediately after that one is that the nuclear membranes form and they form around those chromosomes so that we can have two new nucleases and each of the uh, for each of the two daughter cells that are going to be formed okay so nuclear membranes form and you've got a little step by step i would imagine of mitosis in your notes and the you would just go through the stages and you'd hopefully recognize this as the chromatids been pulled apart opposite poles and then the next stage is nuclear membranes form and b says stem cells can divide in order to self renew state the feature of stem cells that gives them the potential to develop into different types of cell so this is this is a key word and it's a good sort of stock answer when you've been asked about stem cells and their features and that is that stem cells are unspecialized cells okay and by being unspecialized that means they have the ability to differentiate or to develop into all kinds of cells okay so that unspecialized feature is an important one to remember for stem cells okay folks hope that helped i'll see you in the next one